Are you in the market for a new TV? Or are you not in the market for a new TV, but are just terrible with money? Let me ask you, do you notice a big difference between this or this? Do you have a preference? Would watching something with different levels of color or brightness affect how much you enjoy what you're watching. If you really didn't notice or care about the colors or contrast, I was just changing on the screen, the good news is you could save a lot of money because the main reason you buy a more expensive TV is because you do care about what you see and it does affect how you absorb the content. Ultimately, when you're watching television, the story is what drives the experience, right? But what if you can have your cake and eat it too. Sure, story drives the experience, but quality makes the experience. It's one of the reasons we go to the movies. So for those of us who can't unsee backlit screens or are tired of screen panels that have terrible bleeding and want the best of the best response times, let's talk OLED TVs because OLED TVs are sick. Remember what it was like to go from a CRT TV to an LCD or plasma one? It was a huge upgrade. While an OLED TV might not be as drastic of an upgrade, it is on the path of what watching TV should be. There's a race going on right now and well, OLED TV, it's up at the front. Recently, the race was all about resolution. We had 1080p, then 4K, some are even 8K. FYI, I think 4K will still be the norm for a while. But now it seems the next big things for TVs are brightness, response rate, and contrast. And the response times and contrast is where OLED TVs truly shine. There's a reason why Nintendo put them in their new Switches, right? So I recently acquired a used 2016 LG OLED TV because one of my buds has upgrade-itis and sells me his old stuff, thank you buddy. And even though it's over five years old, it's incredible. OLED technology isn't new, it's been around. It's just been inaccessible to a lot of us for years because of the high price point. We're finally getting to a time where the price is more reasonable, which is why I wanted to make this video. Because some people are probably wondering, is OLED still a good choice? Take a look at this. This is my older Vizio 47 inch LED TV. Look at it beside my new to me OLED TV. Unlike LED that are backlit, meaning they have a separate light source behind the pixels, OLED pixels are individually lit. So when black is present on the screen, instead of still having light blasting from behind the pixel and trying to block that light, the OLED pixel can turn itself off completely, creating midnight black, which in a dark room especially, looks frickin' awesome. Did you watch Game of Thrones? If you did, do you remember this episode? If so, you probably thought, this looks like crap. Well, it was probably your TV. That's because the episode had a crazy contrast ratio. And if your current TV is an older LED, well, that's when you really notice shows that have a lot of dark scenes in them. The separation between light and dark is called contrast. And since the black on an OLED TV can be pitch black, they have an insane contrast or light to dark ratio. Earlier when I said contrast is where OLEDs shine, look at the difference in black between these two side by side. No matter what screen you are watching on right now, you can probably still spot the difference. The theory is, the higher the dynamic range or contrast, the closer an image gets to the different tones that you'd see in real life. This is why high dynamic range, or HDR, is so great. Here's the downside. OLED TVs look incredible for nighttime viewing or in a dark room, but when the room is brighter, they lose some of their edge. Ambient light in the room makes the contrast not quite as impressive. And this is where QLED or mini or micro LED TVs might shine a little brighter, literally. But listen, hearing professional color graders or TV techie dudes on YouTube talk about this, 
They make an OLED TV sound like it isn't great in a bright room. If most people like you and me saw a new OLED TV in a bright room, we would be incredibly impressed, especially if you haven't upgraded your TV in a few years. Any of the new technologies will all look sick, just in a darkish room, OLED will look sicker. Let's talk about one really important feature, and that's pixel response time. When things change on the screen, especially in something like gaming, the response time for OLED smashes everything else. So if you're planning to game on your TV, it's another huge reason to get an OLED. Burn-in isn't really a concern these days. As long as you refresh the TV every so often, read the manual just to prevent burn-in at least. So as far as a con goes, that really isn't one anymore. Okay, you might be thinking, who really cares about pitch blacks and response times? Do I really need an OLED TV instead of something cheaper? First, depending on where you're going to put the TV makes a difference. If it's going in a bedroom where you do your watching in the evening, it will look incredible. If it's going in a bright living room with lots of windows, even though an OLED would still look great during the day, but if that's where you watch TV mostly and you don't game, then I would say go to the store and look at it side by side with the newer LED TVs. You might be able to save a lot of money buying something else which still looks great. But if you like watching movies at nighttime or in a darker room, or if you enjoy any type of gaming, I think an OLED TV is an absolutely safe buy. You could order it online without even seeing one in the store and I guarantee you'll be happy with your purchase. They're that good. And once you set it up and kick back, watching whatever show you want in HDR, you'll smile really wide and won't miss that money you spent for one second. There will always be newer technology right around the corner. Micro LED looks awesome, but it's going to be super expensive for a long time. If you can get a good deal on an older OLED TV like me, or you can afford to buy one new, I highly recommend it. At the end of the day, when I was watching movies on my cheaper RCA panel at nighttime, there would be a space scene on, and where it would look black, it wasn't. This took me out of the experience of the story. Since upgrading to an OLED TV, I often smile because of how good it looks. But most importantly, I'm not taken out of the action. I got my cake, and I'm eating it too. To further compliment your new TV, make sure you watch this video next. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up the video if you got a sec, and sub to the channel if you haven't already. See you next time on The Sad Life. <laughs> Dad!